Hello everybody, my name is Goodboy, and welcome to this week's Getting Personal with Me. Um, some have commented below that uh, technically this isn't a guide. Well, the good news is, actually it is. It's just a guide to life and me. So, uh, so that's probably the best guide you're ever going to see. Uh, let's move on to the previous video. So in the previous video, I asked people what they hated the most about Dota. Uh, Devin Cavallo says this, Russians. The thing I hate most is Russians. <laughs> so that is a bit unfair on all Russians. The Russians that are my friends are fantastic. Great. Uh, and I, I've got I've got love for Russia. Unfortunately, a minority of some Russians are unfortunately complete scumbags and just ah uh, subhuman scum to everybody. Those unfortunately have given all the rest of the Russians unfortunately a bad reputation, which is a, which is a real shame because most Russians aren't like that at all. But if I'm completely honest. It's not just Russians. It's a small minority of complete gits in every country suck. Recently, in one of my videos I posted as well, somebody mentioned that the Southeast Asian server is just pure hell all the time. So, uh, so there you go. Uh, but, uh, but there you go. Fair enough. That's that's Devin's perspective. The, I hate three things in the world of Dota 2. This is from Leon, Leandro Martinez. One, AFK players. Two, the damn feeders. And then the last and more important, I hate anti-mage. F-U anti-mage. <laughs> Strong hate there. Um, so AFK players totally agree. That is annoying. It's not as annoying in a recent video I released as people that deliberately put, you know, wards in the fountain and then feed the courier to the enemy. And then feed themselves in the enemy and happen to be playing Legion Commander and start jewels. So the enemy gets huge amounts of attack bonuses as well. That's worse. A lot worse. But nonetheless, AFK players are quite annoying. The damn feeders. Now, the thing with feeders is, in defense of people that feed, that can be a lot of people that just have a bad game. Um, it's when people deliberately start jewels against five people solo. That's when you know they're feeding deliberately. That's annoying. And then I suppose Andy Mage. There is good news for you, Leandro Martinez. There's a counterpicking guide for Andy Mage somewhere. So the video link's somewhere on the screen now. Click on it, and that will lead you to that particular guide. So uh, there's, there's all that. One of the last things I also want just to feed back. Um, Alexander Coleman says from the previous video, I think good boy should be spout... Gihad boy. <laughs> G-H-E-O-D-B-U-O-Y. Technically, that does spell good boy. Um, so, at this point, it's a free-for-all. I, 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 some guy, a good fan of mine, has just is just put good boy, B-O-Y. Fine, whatever. Just, you know, whatever. I, 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 I give up. I give up. I've told people how to spell it correctly. Let's move on. Uh, so, a while back during the uh, TI6 tournament, a couple of weeks ago, I um, I released a video on how to do, um, uh, you know, picking the best fantasy challenge teams. Which, by the way, I, I was in the 91 percentile for um, for accuracy. It was really great, actually. I was like, oh wow, I beat everybody I know in having the most accurate fantasy challenge predictions. But Interestingly enough, in the video, you may notice that my MMR is quite high. Some 21k, like I told everybody, that's definitely real and couldn't have been edited or photoshopped, for example, by myself, because I obviously have no editing skills. Anyway, Carlos Garavito says, how is that possible, 21k? <laughs> And then uh, it, gets, it gets better. This one's even better. Alfin Del Pirio says, WTF? 21k MMI is real? <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh, commend those guys. Like like those guys. Oh, oh guys, you're great. You're great. You br you brought a tear to my eye. Um, so so just to, and, and then there was another video where the same sort of thing, and uh, and basically one of the guys said the same thing, and I was like, okay. Uh, he, he said, how how did you do it? Because I thought I thought Miracle had the highest MMR in the world, and he's only 9k. How'd you do it, good boy? Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. My response to all of them is hard work and just believe in the dream. <laughs> okay, so on channel updates, um, there is now a Steam group, which is in the description below. Feel free to click on it. That is my new group of awesome bros. Um, we can all hang out, play games together, start teams, rage at people that we don't like, report everyone that I say are evil, and trust me, if I say they're evil, they're evil. Uh, but also, it'd just be a great opportunity for everyone, you know, people that, that you know, like the videos, get involved, blah, blah, blah. Um, feel free to join the uh, thing. Underneath that link, you will find something else, which is a Patreon group link thing I'm going to announce a proper surprise next week but it is there feel free to click on it and see what exciting prizes you can win by sponsoring me very exciting prizes including Arcanas so um, so there is that there if you feel like it but like I say the chances are if you've actually got to this far along in the video uh, most people at this point in the video will have just actually X'd out of it and have stopped watching it now so F you if you've done that if you have managed to make it this far into the video, though, then congratulations. You have a chance to win an awesome prize. Personal question I got asked by Nicholas Yao is, what's your other job? Um, so, I suppose it's worth announcing at this point some interesting... Well, you, you might not care. <laughs> That's the other thing. I often look at other people's vlogs, and I'm literally like, I don't care. X out of it. But um, but occasionally some vlogs do hold my interest. Um, so my other job, I work for a rather prestigious automotive group. You may have heard of them. They're a Jaguar Land Rover. Not a bad little company, actually. Um, I will say this. Great cars. Buy one if you can afford one. Buy me one. Um, so, But I work as an engineer for those guys. They're great. I love them. Um, but that is what I do. That's my other job. That's how I pay for all the stuff that allows me to do this thing. The only problem with my job is, as great as my job is, unfortunately, it isn't the dream. This, the YouTube thing, is the dream. You know. Um, but the problem is, the ratio of pay is uh, somewhat out of link, shall we say. So... Whatever I earn on YouTube, I earn about a hundred times as much. Probably more like 500 times as much in the real world. Now, you might think that I'm on a really good pay job and I am pretty well paid. However, that just highlights how awful my money is on do on YouTube. So, so there you go. But that's my other job. I'm an engineer. There's another thing about myself that is also very exciting. But I'm going to reveal that in the next video, which is how academically trained are you? That's a stupid question. There's something else interesting about me, why I got this job, which I'll reveal in the next video. So stay tuned for the next one. So, responding to critics. At this point, I'm just going to slightly adjust my hat. There we go. Here we go. Now, as you can see, this is a top hat. Just want to point that out right now. Anyway, Loris Cavalli says this. Stop the hat. You're not a neckbeard. Cut me deep, bro. Cut me deep. Just to put that in perspective, here's a picture of neckbeard. Pretty good slam. And uh, my fear is that now that I've shown you that and drawn the comparisons and parallels, you'll all think, oh, crap, good boy is a neckbeard. However, 
The good news is there is there is grace. There is grace. It's okay. You'll notice in the image, the neck beard is actually a fedora hat. Good news. This is a top hat. The problem I've got is when I put it on like normally, like how I'd like to wear my top hat normally, from this angle, it looks like it's a fedora. Hence, neck beard. I mean, I don't too myself much of a beard anyway, but um, but it is actually a top hat. So it's okay. Not technically a neck beard. Top hat guy. If you'd like to comment below on your genuine feelings of the top hat, because to be honest, if I get enough hate, I will probably just go ahead and get rid of it. So there you go. So finally, uh, my last uh, last uh, you know fan fan feedback. Blackbot says this. Good boy, you are very funny. Don't change your jokes. You are awesome. Thanks, bro. That's that's a lot. That means a lot to me. You can join the Steam group. Let's hang out. Let's have a game together sometime. Um. So yeah, I mean, uh, uh, I appreciate that. Uh, uh, I'll try to continue to do some more jokes. I've recently released a video with lots of jokes to do with Kunker and Divine Rapiers and blah blah blah. Getting a lot of hate. Disproportionate hate. But hey ho, um, but it's nice to see that, that people do actually get my jokes and find me funny from time to time. So thanks for that. So uh, final thoughts, I guess, would be um, obviously love you all, love you all, big place in my heart and in my under my top hat as well. It's a good place to be. Um, just want to say you guys are great. Love you. Uh, what else? All oh, right, yeah. My question to you is, what do you do when you're not playing Dota? What is your job? Comment below. Comment below what you think about the video. Comment about everything. Anything. Put random words. Comment below for random words and phrases. I would, yeah. It shows, A, you've got to this, this part of the video. And then, two, if you have done that, comment below. And, uh, and I would love to put your random phrases in the next video. Anyway, everybody, big love.